All right, so I just played with a Lux that was absolutely awful. Now I'm in the bronze, silver, gold area of ELO. So, you know, everybody's kind of awful down here. However, watching her play, I could tell she was having panic attacks. I could tell she was being overwhelmed by the stimulus on the screen because she'd just start throwing out abilities at like a Shen when there's a Fed Briar right there that needs to die. And even bad players, once they see a Fed player that's carrying the game, no, focus Briar, she's the hardest one to kill. And she was throwing her EQ at a Shen in the middle of the same team fight that was like that far on the screen away. And it occurs to me, watching that, that that's, that's panic. That's uh, it's a panic attack. That's tunnel vision. That's being overwhelmed by the amount of stimulus on the screen. And I can relate to this, as this used to be something that happened to me a lot when playing League of Legends. It was actually probably the hardest part for me about playing League of Legends is that when the situation got stressful... I fucking tunnel visioned. I had anxiety attacks. I just could not focus. I couldn't take in stimulus anymore. I'd just get overwhelmed and I would play like absolutely terrible. I remember I used to play a lot of Morgana and what would happen in most team fights is I'd literally end up pressing flash into R, trying to cue somebody and then Zhonya's and then I'd die. And it, it, most of the reason I die is because these weren't good times to be flash r -ing. Um But I wasn't capable of taking in all the stimulus to try and make a decision on when to R. And so I finally got to the point where I was like, well, I just need to R. Otherwise, I, I'm, I'm not useful at all. I just need to at least get in there, do damage. Even if I can't decipher when the best time to do damage is, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to send it. Um, I was bronze four, and this is back before iron existed and deserved bronze four. I fluctuated between bronze three and bronze four, and it was just anxiety. It was gaming anxiety. It was performance anxiety. And how I improved that over the last decade or so has actually been mindfulness. I, I came across uh, Weldon Green and his Mac program. Shout out to Weldon Green, one of the performance mindfulness coaches for TSM Gaming back in the day. He used to work with, uh, you know, I want to say Double Lift was on the team back there, but Bjergsen and whatnot. He, uh, he helped me a lot. I started practicing mindfulness partially because of that, partially because, you know, I'm a bit of a spiritual person and mindfulness made sense for that angle. And this practice of mindfulness allowed me to actually get better at calming myself in the moment. I got better at dropping into flow state instead of having panic attacks in those very same moments of high stress, high anxiety. You know, those proper challenges started helping me come alive instead of shutting down. One of two things can happen when you start to become overwhelmed by stimuli is one, you come, you shut, you shut down and you tunnel vision and you have an anxiety attack. And the second thing that can happen is you turn on and you actually hyper focus and you move in the direction of flow state. And that, that is one of the most satisfying feelings in the world. And if this video helps you feel that more often in the future, as you practice mindfulness, then this video has done what it needed to do. Peace out. Thank you. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day.